Hi guys, West Country Explorer here and today I'm at Knowlton Church in Dorset and Paul and Pete from Free Pete Afterlife, they're here as well so they're on a little two-day holiday from Sussex and I'm going to show them around the area and they're, they're going to be doing a few videos for their channel and tonight the three of us are going to be doing an overnight stay here we're going to camp here overnight because Norton Church has got a lot of lot paranormal activity and all the rest and to it so I thought I'm going to do a video with them well I'm doing a video for the, my channel they're doing a video for their channel see what happens and all the rest now if I remember rightly off the top of my head Norton Church is in the Dorset Best Churches book so I'll probably come back again at some point and do another video on that for the Dorset Best Churches series. But this video, it's going to be an overnight one. So, hope you enjoy it, guys. See you in the main vid. Last summer I did come here and spent the night wild camping here. I did do a brief bit of recording on the afternoon that I got here. Did upload that to YouTube. What I did I'll link that in my description for a link to that video. Probably not the best quality of video. That was in the that was before I started doing this YouTube video that I when I started doing YouTube I started, did that. So not happy with it, but I'm going to leave it on. Dave, yep. <laughs> There's Paul from Free Peas Afterlife, right? Oh, it is. It is. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah, when I recorded this last bit, that was before I started doing my YouTube channel. But I did upload it to YouTube. I leave it on, even though it's not brilliant video. Oh, no roof there. that last time. Yeah, so as you can see not much left to it. Bit of new brickwork there. Oh, can you see that I don't see if I can get a better focus on that. I don't know how well you can see that, bit of scribbles in that. Bit more there. Uh, this is a 14th century church. And it's built within some earthworks. The earthworks date from around 2500 BC. Or did I just stop there a second? Well, as you can see, we're a Bronze Age. Earthworks here coming up the top. There's the church. There are Bronze Age burial mounds around here. This isn't the only earthwork here, there's 
other earthworks in the area, but I think this is one of the main earthworks. I think this was a pagan site at one point. So they put a church here. It might help sort of convert the pagans to Christianity. <laughs> put the Christian stamp on the pagan site. Now, Knowlton Village used to be down there somewhere, but it's gone now. Black Death put pay to that. A plague came along. Died, villagers died out, village disappeared. All we've got left is Knowlton Church. Lots of paranormal activity attached to the church. Ghosts. UFOs, possibly, I think one guy said he saw someone from another dimension. I'll let you make your own, form your own opinions on all of that. Different people have different views on ghosts and all of that, so I pass no comment myself. I've got my views, and other people have got theirs, and I'm not going to criticise people for having their own views, if they're different to mine. Happily tolerant of whatever you want to believe. Yeah. What we have is a couple of trees here with loads and loads of ribbons. And not just ribbons, all sorts. I think what people do is, I think they sort of say prayers for people and something or other and stuff like that and leave a little ribbon. These new trees. Something like that. I'm going to look into this and put put in a description exactly what it's all about. But, uh, I mean, there's all sorts of stuff here. Here's a question for the video. If anyone can understand what birds say, understand bird language, translate what the birds are singing at the moment in the tree. <laughs> uh, Knowlton Church over there. There's Paul. Pete's disappeared over there somewhere. Oh guys, that's it for the minute. There you go guys, we're stuffing our faces before the nighttime investigation. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Getting a bit of grabbing our bellies before we get haunted by all the ghosts at Knowlton yeah. Church. <laughs> Chief of Arrows in, Gla in um, Cramble. That was a local pub for local people. But a decent bit of food and decent drink. So if you like spit and sawdust and local pubs. Yeah, lovely for, pies. Yeah. <laughs> right, so get down there. Chief of Arrows. Yeah. Right, Paul and Pete have got their tent set up. Me, I haven't got a tent. I'm just going to be sleeping in my sleeping bag. Uh, 
Hello, anybody home? <laughs> All right, guys. Here we are at the top of a uh, top of the burial mound. Ooh, Can you imagine? This is where literally thousands of dead bodies are under this. Yeah. Bronze Age people. I mean. It's almost like a alien race to us. It's uh, so far in the past. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry about the connection. It's just we're we're on a burial mound, so it should be the dead interfering with it. Then if you can, oh, so if I put a light on, there you go. That's better. Look at that. I mean, I wonder how many people are buried there. I mean, what language would they have spoken? The Bronze Age people. Oh, flipping. Bloody things. Because, <laughs> I mean, I don't love them back, though. I don't love them back. Oh, look at that creepy old tree. tree. Yeah. I am intrigued to know what language they'd have spoken. Like I was saying earlier, it was like before the Celts. Yeah. Would it have been um, oh, what was it? Old English, or was that before times? Old English. That was that was after the Saxons. That was around about the Saxon time. Okay. That would have been like that would have been about turn of the last millennium. So that would have been about a thousand years ago. Okay, so we're talking four and a half thousand. That's right, so. yeah. Hmm. I mean, this would have been like Bronze Age people. That would have been before the Romans got here. Yeah. So. When were the Vikings? They were. Was that twelve hundred? No, that would have been about. Before? That would have been about fifth century. Because Vikings would have. I think was it Vikings? They were part of the Angles and the Dutes, like made Anglo-Saxons. Yeah. Anyway, am I still online, guys? Let me know. So there you go, guys. We're on a... This is the top of a Bronze Age burial mound in Dorset. And it says there's nobody online. This stone here... I think this was a... From the Bronze Age, if I remember rightly. I think it used to... I think there used to be a circle of these stones, if I remember rightly, that eventually ended up being knocked down and buried. I think this one was found not all that long ago, I think within the last 20 years or so, if I remember rightly. I'll have to double check the history on it and what I'll do is I'll put the history in the description. But yeah, if I remember rightly, this was rediscovered like 2004, 2005, I think it was. Yeah. That's a bit of a hollow there. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, I'm just going to make my way back to camp. It's now about nine o'clock. And I reckon it's about time for a drink. Oh, I don't know if you can see that, guys. Look at that up at the top of the tower. It's wake up in the morning and Dave's been eating a lot. <laughs> Attack of the killer bees and they've eaten me. All you'll find is my bones. Let's see if I can zoom up on them. The skeleton's still steaming. Mm -hmm. 
So look at that then, guys. All the them at the top of the tower. And where to am I sleeping? I'm sleeping at the bottom of the tower. <laughs> well, hey! At least Paul and Peter got the right idea. They're riding in their tent. We are protected. <laughs> <laughs> in the morning, you're going to be able to get me on that graphonic. I'll, I'll be dead. Yeah. <laughs> Eaten alive by the bees. I, I think they're like alive. I'm surprised they're not. Uh -huh. Attracted by light. I've never seen that. That wasn't here last year when I came. Deep joy, guys. Deep joy. I zoom in. Probably can't really see it. But at the very top, left hand corner, they're all buzzing around. And bee things. Those of them. Left top left hand corner of that tower. My beer pissed over. My Belgian beer pissed up a bit. Not nice. Three young lads over there, young Lahus. Some photographers about. It's quite nice and chilled out here, really. Them bees or whatever they are at the top of that tower. Just hope we don't get any hassle from them. Bird songs, lovely bird songs. Right, okay, so there's three young lahus. There's one, two, two photographers just going around, they won't go past me. There's another photographer over there. There's me, Pete, and Paul, YouTubers. Three different groups of people, three different types of people. We're all just doing our thing, mind of our own business, not hustling each other, just enjoying it. All good fun. And so the camera will probably be going on and off. Yeah. yeah. But it will all be one video. What is that squeaking? That's a bat. Sounds very close. Uh, just over there somewhere. Yeah. I thought I saw a bat earlier fly over the top, so now yeah. we've had mayflies, we might have bats as well. <laughs> yeah. uh, nothing to worry about, just another nice harmless bat. Yeah. So if we wake up dead in the morning, guys, someone will upload it. If it's not the mayflies getting us, it's the flipping bats. Yeah. Or both. <laughs> <laughs> they get buzzed to death and eat them. <laughs> So, if there are any souls that reside within this building, what's left of it? It was probably beautiful in its heyday. Is that the right word? Heyday? Yeah, yeah that's right, yeah. That's the right word. Please tell us any history, if you can. Or give us any messages. Tell us a name. You're coming, Pete. That was behind you, Pete. Quiet, 
keep hearing a man from here. What, from over there? Yeah. Right around that point. I'll just do three caps for him, then. That noise, that spaceship. <laughs> Can you hear that? Yeah. Oh, up bit. Be pretty cool if it was a spaceship. Yeah. Car on the main road. That go with the name then, wouldn't it? Phenomenon. Yep. Phenomena. <laughs> Something like a phenomena. It's as if you like say talking to your lady or even it's not like going to Johnson, is it? Yes. Gordon, but I wouldn't take aliens to Johnson. Well, I'd say bring your weapons with you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I've only just Some little walk around. Let's see if I can recall anything of interest. Well, guys, just going to do some recording down by this between these two trees. Paul and Peter are still up in the main church at the moment. Too dark to see the church at the moment. My light's not bright enough to show it. Well, I just wanted to come down a minute, here a minute. Do a bit of recording. So quiet here. This bit, I know there's um traffic in the background. But even though there's a lot of traffic in the background, this bit is just so tranquil.
Oh, sorry. Oh, ah. Get my arm caught on a branch, huh? I mean, there's stuff, ribbons and stuff so far up in the trees. People have obviously gone to some effort to climb up and put ribbons and stuff in places. I was offered up those ribbons like in memory of people, offering up prayers and stuff I'm guessing. Even got stuff on the um, fence there. Scarves and that. Huh. Just noticed somebody's left a mask there. One good thing, guys, is those mayflies that were buzzing around earlier, they're no longer around. They've gone to bed. Well, weird. Well, not weird. I'm used to insects coming out at dusk and for a brief period and then going to bed, but yeah, there's loads of mayflies briefly around it for an hour or so. Well, you saw the footage. I said they were um, yeah, doing their thing. Basically, they were having sex. Uh. Sorry, the but it might be a bit shaky here, guys, so I do apologise. I said, uh, recording when you've had a little bit to drink. Yeah. So that Belgian beer was nice. And I've had a little bit of old rosy cider as well. Oh, I thought I had a bit of laughter then. Oh, uh. Sounded like well. Now you can how many thousands a year? Please, please don't communicate with each other. Talk to us. Life like back then. Did, did 
we live in Harmony. <laughs> right guys, it's midnight. I'm pretty tipsy. I'm not the only one. And look, look, look. I've ended up in red shorts. <laughs> these, these were a pair of ball shorts. <laughs> and like, Paul's in green shorts. Oh dear. He's almost yeah. as tipsy as I am. Yeah. I'm, well. And you say about my light being bright. <laughs> yeah. It's like UFO bright. Yeah. <laughs> Paul's tipsy. I'm drunk. Yeah. We're in <laughs> green and red shorts. Hawaiian shorts. Oh, Hawaiian, Hawaiian shorts. shorts. And out of the three of us, yeah. Pete is the sensible one. Yeah. He's, he's pretty sober. Why, and why are we all misty? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's struggling to focus. So. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, what's um, that third head behind? <laughs> 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 <Go. laughs> this was supposed to be a serious night out, but yeah, yeah. we we were having fun, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Oh, brilliant, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> All right, I'm gonna link Paul's video in this description because yeah. in Paul's video you get to see me face palm, don't you? I, earlier on, I proper face palm, so yeah. you got to watch Paul's video. Like a lamppost. <laughs> like, like a lamp. <laughs> I was straight down, straight down, face first. <laughs> Honestly. And you see me trying to stumble over. <laughs> okay. Dave, Dave. Dave, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I keep seeing a third head. <laughs> no, 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 that's your head. Yeah. Oh, it's double vision. <laughs> double vision. <laughs> oh, oh. There's, there's Pete over there somewhere in the tent, so being sensible. <laughs> right, guys, I'm going to stop this for a minute. <laughs> Well, oh, right. yeah. Hang on a minute, it's still going right. Stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Press the stop button. It's <laughs> 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 right, um, there. Oh, guys, it's about half seven, 20 to 8 in the morning. So, what was that? Like five hours sleep, something like that. Didn't experience anything paranormal. But I had a good laugh with Paul and Pete. <laughs> I had a few bits to drink, so as you could probably tell from some of the later footage in the evening. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the vid, guys. And what I'll do is, when Paul and Pete put their video up, I'll link their video in the description. So go and have a look at their vid. See what you think, guys. Feel free to comment on my vid and... Tell me what you think of it. I said the usual thumbs up, thumbs down. I, yeah, it was a good fun last night. Well, and yesterday, doing the sort of when we got here. It's been a fun fun visit. So, probably be doing out today, doing a bit of an explore, other bits and pieces. So, might have a, some other videos going up later on today after this one. And in the meantime, the usual guys, stay safe, take care, God bless.